Let's take a deep dive below. Today on All Out Brick, we're going to be taking a look at the next generation of Toa, the Toa Mari. We're going to build the sets, review them, and then give out a score. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Christian from All Out Brick. Welcome to another Matanui Monday. As always, the best way to tag along with us every week is to subscribe and turn on notifications. This week, we'll be building the Toa Mari, which were released as a part of the 2007 line of Bionicle. The Toa Mari capture the same characters as our Toa Anika, only with some slight modifications as they head down into the waters to Mari Nui. As previously stated, the Toa Mari are the former Toa Anika, transformed into sea-dwelling heroes by the Mask of Life. They descended into the depths in their conquest to obtain the Mask of Life. Once there, they had to work hard to earn the trust of the Matoran, who were quite skeptical of their motives. Taking a look at the packaging, we've got some pretty interesting canister design here. It's a very different design with this big plastic outer ring that matches the color of each Toa. Then you can see there's like this general instructions looking graphic on the inside that shows the age of the set, the set number, and how many pieces there are. And then on the back, there's this thin little paper sheet that covers the back edges and really just seals it in. It's held in with two little sticky tapes, and there's some graphics here of the Toa Mari inside, some Voya Nui and Mari Nui graphics showing, you know, how they fit together. And then it shows all of the six Toa Mari and how you can collect them and how you can mount them inside of their canisters. Let's go ahead and unbox one of our Toa Mari. I'm going to be unboxing Holly here, who is going to have some interesting joints. Hopefully they're in good condition. Like I said in the packaging overview, kind of a flimsy packaging. Honestly, a little disappointing if I have to say that they kind of just threw these little plastic tabs on it and a piece of cardboard and called it a day because the canister design is so nice that, you know, you just wish it was a little bit better. All right, these are a little bit tough to peel off. They've been waiting a long time to come off. All right, and there's the second one. So I guess we're just going to lift this up. Okay. So now we have an empty shell here. And now clear canister. With this little border. I think this should just come right up, I would imagine, right? Or is this sealed on the inside? This is interesting. So what it looks like to me is there's this tiny little thumb punch right here. And I don't know what's going to happen. Let me go ahead and punch it through. There we go. We punch that through. How do we separate... You know, I'm trying not to rip this entire thing apart here. Man, this is, it looks like we're going to have to rip this entire back off. That's unfortunate, but, oh, this is going to stink. I guess this is why when I was searching for these, I could really only find them in new condition with this backing and everything. Now I know why. This, this is inconvenient, but, oh, uh, there we go. Right around the edges. go all right so we've got a couple loose pieces here whoa this is some interesting molds i'm excited for this we've got a, uh, a launcher that's going to be cool Let's see big bag of parts lime green joints all look good for right now at least um some more parts some instructions and then there's that little canister sleeve let's take a look at these instructions real quick pretty cool we got a vertical design and then it switched to horizontal <laughs> back we got a Tomomari advertisement pretty cool looking and some general Lego advertisement nothing crazy in the back but boy that was an interesting unboxing experience it sucks that we basically had to rip that paper sleeve off because now we can never really box it back up you know the way it was but that's okay we got some loose pieces this awesome looking you know machine gun I guess is what I would call it for now and the bag of parts and the instructions I've never actually built a Toa Mari before because I missed out on their original release way back when so with that said I am absolutely pumped to see what these models can deliver let's go ahead and get them built Alright, so after a surprisingly long build, 50 minutes, pretty long for these Toa Mari, they are complete and 
I really like them. What I really like is the variety that they give us with all of these Toa. It feels like for the first time and maybe ever that they just all have such a unique look to them, unique style, that it feels like you're building six separate sets. And then when they come together, they obviously form a great looking Toa team. And so it's nice to see that we finally get something that's not just carbon copies. The most obvious and my favorite part of these Toa Mari is, you know, the masks and the weapon functions. The masks are a really great design, very clever, obviously give you this underwater feeling to them, and then they just really blend in with all the Toa, and I think you can kind of tell who they are based on like their character. Uh, some of them are a little bit closer and a little bit further away from their original Toa Anika mask looks, so I think they're kind of hit and miss there, but boy do they look like a very sleek design, and I'm very accepting of what we get here for these Toa Mari masks, and the weapon function, <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, it's very easy to lose these pieces, I imagine, which is why they give you so many extra, but it's this little air pump, and when you press this, like, missile launcher, like, machine gun turret type of thing, they go flying. I mean, they have a lot of power to them, and yeah, I can imagine them sliding under all sorts of stuff and then needing to purchase more of them, but... I don't really care. They are such a cool function. And then they go all over these Toa. They're mounted in very clever ways. Like they're just very well done designs here is really what I'm kind of like seeing from the Toa Mari. And to go one step further, I think the Toa Mari, they achieve this iconic brand new look, fresh take on the Toa. And they're not my favorite Toa by any means. I'm going to straight up say that now. But I think what they do is create this iconic look across the board. And we're going to dive into each individual Toa Mari really quickly. But just as an overall, they just encapsulate this iconic look. The one downside I want to bring up before we go into each individual Toa Mari is that I feel like some of them really shine bright. However, that really makes some of them fall pretty down. Like there was a couple Toa Mari where I was like, uh, not a great one here. But I think as an overall, they're going to make up for it. And you'll see as we dive into each one kind of you know, which ones I like and which ones I think could have used some improvement. So let's go ahead and dive into the individuals. Let's start with Kongu. Kongu's pretty cool in the fact that he's got two of these missile launchers. Really unique look right there that's going to separate him from the rest. He's got some awesome dark green throughout. A little bit too much gray, I think, for my liking. I would have liked to see maybe a little bit of some, you know, I know lime green comes later on, but some brighter highlights of green, I think, would have really suited him somewhere in his arms. We get these really cool dark green Rakshi feet, which are awesome. I mean, my favorite part of Kongu has got to be his head design the mask is awesome and he's got this little air tank that sticks on the back of it really really cool things here and again those double missile launchers look awesome he's really going to be your heavy out of this group of Toa Mari moving on now we've got Toa Jaller who's got a really cool look to him too as well right off the bat we can see we have great variety I mean what's going to stand out for Toa Jaller is of course the little spider or crab that's holding his I don't know what the specific term is but his machine gun launcher is what we'll call them he's holding that and Jaller Jaller's got this awesome orange and red color scheme highlighted mostly on the mask. That fade, that gradient from orange to red, oh my gosh, it looks so great. I love what they did with Jaller's color scheme and then threw in black for his joints. Great way to shake it up. And then again, holding this little crab. I mean, it makes it a little bit you know, less functional when you're trying to play with Jaller or something like that. I guess you could run into those problems. But for a display and just like a concept... What a great way to shake up how he's holding that little launcher. I mean, awesome. I love the little crab details with him. Moving on, we've got Toa Huki, who, you know, is going to be my first one that I'll say is uh, not the biggest fan of it. I just think it looks a little incomplete in this chest design here compared to what we've seen so far and what we're going to see moving on. I like how they gave him this big staff and these cool little shoulder blades, but something about him just, he feels a little small. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this mask design for him. I think it's a cool concept. I just think, you know, maybe if they inverted the colors, I feel like there's just a little bit too much yellow for Toa Huki, and it's just a little bit distracting, and it feels like a little bit of a rinky-dink incomplete set. Next up, another Toa Mari that, not the biggest fan again, is Nuparu. I just feel like he's so generic, a ton of black. I would have liked if they thrown in some other colors in there. I mean, when you look back to the Toa Nuparu, the Toa Anika version, it does it really shifts here and then we've got like the silver highlights he is kind of the one out of all of them that when i look at him like is this their villain or is you know something like that i love the shield that they gave him and i looked up the name the kordak blaster is what we've got here nothing special with the mount i mean you know it's going to be the same thing but a little bit of a silver highlight just provided by that. I love the mask design for Nuparu, though. I think, again, it doesn't really fit. I would have loved to see, like, some of those spikes that we had on the original Nika version of Nuparu just translated to keep some continuity of the character. But, you know, nothing too 
insane with this. I mean, we got some cool little green and blue highlights in the mask, but the mask is definitely my favorite part of this. Same with the shield. Just wish we had a little bit more here to like. Now we've got my favorite of the Toa Mari, Toa Holly. Toa Holly's just got so much going on here, starting with her green and blue color scheme. I think it's pretty cool to, you know, shake it up for this Gamma Torin. We got the green in there and the blue, looking a little bit like Russell Wilson or something with that color scheme. But she's also got these really cool, like, wings at the top of her. Her mask design is awesome. I love the little tube that comes in, just feeding her oxygen or something like that. Not like Bionicles would need oxygen, though, right? I don't know. There's a little bit wonky there. But the great designs with the pieces, some good detail, and just an overall awesome set. I love the weapons that she's got, the unique molds, and then, of course, we've got that Kordak blaster that's mounted on her one arm. Going to give you that awesome function as well. Last but not least for the Toamari is our savior, our sacrifice, Matoro. Rest in peace to Matoro, but boy, is his set pretty cool looking. I mean, not the best. I think they could have added a little bit more detail here. Or not detail, but some more popping colors and just a little bit of that blue. My favorite part of Matoro is the fact that he incorporates pieces through all the generations of Bionicle. Starting with the feet, he's got 2001 Toa Mata feet. How cool is that that they brought those back just for this? I didn't even think they had those molds at this point. He's also got some Metro Nui pieces, and then he's, of course, got a couple of, you know, Voya Nui pieces. So I think he just brings all all these generations together and it's fitting because of course you know this is a big year for Matoro big decision for Matoro comes out here but really cool looking mask too you know he's got these shoulder pads the Kordak blaster and his cool little claw hook hand that I'm sure he's going to use to grab a certain mask no spoilers although we spoiled enough already he dies so overall kind of just repeating what I said earlier we get this brand new fresh take on Toa and it feels great to have such a fresh take in this brand new island. I really start to feel like we're entering Mari Nui now, completely different from any other Toa we've seen. And the variety of the line is excellent. It is really what pushes it to me as one of my more favorite Toa sets. Now, they're not my favorite looking Toa sets, and they're not by any means my favorite functional Toa sets. But I think what they get here and what they give to us is this brand new take, this freshness that we really needed at this point in Bionicle that just launches us into this new story, creative new decisions here, awesome color schemes, cool mask designs, awesome weapon functions, and I just think it was time to have something like that. It felt like we were kind of in a lull the past couple of years with the Toa Hordika, and the Toa Anika were pretty good, but let's be honest, they weren't anything super stellar, and then when you look at the Toa Mari here, great fresh take. I feel like I'm a bit rejuvenated with Bionicle and that's all I wanted from them. If you want to get your hands on your own Toa Mari sets, it's kind of up in the air of like how much they're going to cost. Now, I had to buy all of these brand new sealed because in order to get the packaging fully intact like that, that's just the way you're going to have to go. And if you want to get them in brand new sealed, we'll start with that price. It's like 150 each US dollars. I mean, that kind of fluctuates depending on which Toa you want to get. But it's pretty expensive, um, you know, per, especially when you're just going to open them up like this. I mean, boy, I don't know if I would fully say, but I think Holly, obviously, unless you can get those lime green joints from like a Keylorak set or something like that, kind of essential. I had no problems. None of my lime green joints cracked. However, I know that in used condition, and if you're buying them from like the third party seller, you might see some cracked lime green joints. So I think it's really going to be up to you. Do you want to guarantee the condition is awesome? Otherwise, in used condition, they're like 30 US dollars each. And again, that's going to fluctuate depending on which character you're going to want. Uh, not too much, but a little bit, yes. Obviously, much better price. I mean, you could get five for the price of one. So what I'm thinking is go ahead, get the five Toa Mari, get five of them, and then just get Holly brand new sealed. You could get all of them for 300 which I guess is like $50 each, which really isn't too terrible. And then you're going to get Holly brand new sealed. If you can find her, they are super tough to find right now. I will say that. So that price I expect is just going to really be bumping up because they are tough to find. It took me like two or three months to find Holly brand new sealed. That being said, you know, do what's best for your budget. But I think you're really going to enjoy what you put into these sets. I mean, in terms of a score... I'm going to go with an 8-7 for the Toa Mari. Like I said, really like this line of Toa. I really like them, but they're absolutely not my favorite. And I just, they give me this rejuvenation feel and like this older days type of Bionicle feeling. Like I just opened the Toa Nuva or something for the first time. But there were a couple things. I mean, starting with the unboxing experience, not the best. So that's going to bring it down a little bit. That's part of the set. And then when you take a look at the overall, I mean, yes, very nice Toa sets, but they're not going to touch how great the Toa Metro were or anything like that. I mean, they're not, I don't know if anything is. So very good Toa line, and I highly suggest them. I mean, if you're 
looking for like this iconic Bionicle. I mean, first of all, Matoro, we know this is his iconic version, this <laughs> his form, um, but it's just an awesome iconic part of the Bionicle story. And so I think I would really recommend you, you know, hey, these are going to be one of the Toa sets you want to pick up right away, especially if you could get like the Matoran and Tahunga versions of these Toa and then you have like the Toa version up next to them. I would definitely say these over the Toa Anika. So 8-7, pretty great Toa sets. Not the best, but boy does it have me excited to see what the rest of 2007 is going to give us. The Baraki next week, oh man, I feel like that's going to be a great one. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to be the first to see all of our future content. Also be sure to check us out on our website and on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Until next time, stay bricking.